Good morning, Chargers. This is Topeka West Today, Monday, April 2nd, 2018. I'm your host, Joshua Port. The lunch menu for today includes crispitos with cheese sauce, spicy chicken wraps, and cheeseburgers. Remember, we will be on a block schedule the rest of this week due to state testing. Speaking of state testing, be sure you eat a good breakfast, get plenty of sleep, and attend school in order to do your best and avoid having to miss class time later making up these tests you missed. The ACT will be given district-wide tomorrow, so no bells will be ringing after 7.55. Any student signed up to take the ACT on April 14th who would like to participate in ACT prep during seminar needs to go to the counseling webpage to sign up. You must sign up by the end of the day on Tuesday, April 3rd in order to participate. Ch sessions start on April 4th. Looking for a summer, summer job? Ms. Rodriguez will be posting summer job opportunities on the door of D412. Listings will be updated every Friday. If you have questions, email her at rrodriguez1 at tps501.org. Ms. Waters has extended the NHS deadline to Friday, April 6th. If you have any questions, contact, let her know at bwaterstps501.org. Charge Your Friends for Life is looking for students interested in being a buddy to some of your special friends at T-West. If you are compassionate, friendly, eager to help someone who needs a peer buddy, this is the club for you. Contact Ms. Rodriguez for details. Continuing on the topic of giving back, Student Council will be going to Charger Time classrooms this week to collect change as part of the Pennies for Patients Foundation. They will also let you set they will also set up a site where you can give money online. More details will be coming. Prom tickets can be purchased from Miss Allen in A office or from the Web West Siders Bank for twenty dollars each. Post prom tickets are only sold at the West Side Bank for seven dollars. You must purchase all tickets before April twenty seventh. Outside guests must be registered with as min with administration as soon as possible. Hey students, are you interested in going to Peru? Would you like to earn some volunteer hours? Stop by D403 and ask Miss Riddle about the Peru chip in June 2019. Things in theater are heating up as the cast and crew prepare to burn you with a night of laughs. Get ready for Mr. Burns, a post-electric play, which opens April 19th. Congratulations to senior Liz Freeman and junior Aaron Watts for their first place state qualifying finish in duo interpretation at Washburn Rule Tournament on Saturday. Looking ahead to activities this week. Today, men's golf is at Lake Corva. Cheer tryouts are after school in the small gym. Boys baseball C team is at Emporia. Boys tennis is at Highland Park High School. And girls soccer is at Hayden. On Tuesday, boys baseball competes against Salina Central at Hummer. Boys tennis plays at Washburn. Girls softball also competes at Hummer against Salina Central. And girls swimming is at Emporia. On Wednesday, ACT prep begins and Stevenson Sheet Metal visits in the library during seminar. Stevenson Sheet Metal is a very high-tech shop using 3D printers, CNC mills, and laser cutters. There is, <coughs> there is on-the-job training and internships available. Boys Tennis plays at Emporia, and JV Track and Field is also at Emporia. Thursday, ACT prep continues during seminar. The, va the Varsity Girls Dive Team is at the Capitol Federal Nat Natatorium. JV's Boys Tennis plays at Crossover. Cro Girls Softball plays at Emporia at Hummer. Uh, JV Boys Baseball also plays at Emporia, also plays Emporia at Hummer, and Girls Soccer plays Shawnee Heights at Hummer. On Friday, jazz band students go to the Washburn Rule University Jazz Festival, and Varsity Track and Field competes at Olathe East. Well, that's it for me. You have a great day, Chargers. Ugh.